Hey gang, it's your boy Yojo. And um, today I'm gonna do something about, um, what, what, I guess the, a good way to put it would be asexuality and oppression. Because, oh, that's my best thing. Oh well. Um, I overheard someone recently say they are glad that they are asexual because society doesn't oppress them about what they can do with their bodies. And that is just totally not true. As a bisexual that does not have sex, I pretty much get treated like an asexual based on what I've heard. And um, the reason why that particular person doesn't get harassed is because they are not society's broad and vague definition of beautiful or pretty or anything of the like. I'm not saying that the person's ugly. Don't go back and tell that person that I said that they're ugly because I didn't. I am saying that society's definition of uh, visually acceptable. So, for all of you asexuals out there that think that you aren't oppressed, you, well you aren't because you're not society's definition of beautiful and therefore people don't care. But, uh... I can tell you, based on my appearance, no matter how I look, I get flack for not having sex and stuff. So, you know, don't don't think that there is an oppression just because you're not getting it, I guess is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, that that's always, I guess that's always the point of what a femi any feminist says. Like, don't think that there's no oppression just because it's not happening to you. And don't spread the word that there is no oppression because there is. And that's all I have for right now. I'll talk to y'all later. As y'all can see, I'm still in Albuquerque. But I have like seven more days here. I leave on the 12th. And today is the 4th. So uh, I'll see y'all in Phoenix soon. Uh, but this might not be my last video here. So see you later. Bye. Take care of yourselves and each other. Love you.